Instagram. It seems like everyone's on it, right? Right. Since its launch, it's become one of the most popular social media sites of all time. Do you feel like your business is missing out? Well, we're here to help. We're not talking about sharing your lunch, your cat or your best selfies here. By setting up a professional profile, you can access the same tools and features you'd enjoy on a personal account, as well as some extra ones that can really help to boost your brand. Creating your profile. First, sign up for an account. If you already have a personal one that you'd like to use for your business, simply click on the menu, then settings, account, and switch to professional account. If not, get registered, then get started by adding the following. A profile photo. Keep it relevant, keep it recognizable, and keep it on brand. The minimum profile picture size is 110 by 110 pixels, and Instagram will automatically crop your photo into a circle. Try to stay below 200 by 200 so the image doesn't blur or stretch. A compelling bio. This is your opportunity to let your visitors know what your business is all about. Remember, you have a maximum of 150 characters, so make it count. A link to your website. Your bio is the only place you can add a direct link to your website. You can change the URL in your bio as often as you like, which means you can link to certain landing pages, blogs or products, depending on what you're trying to promote at the time. A call to action. With a business account, you can add a button under your bio that allows people to email you, book a table or register for an event. Now your profile's set up and looking fantastic. It's time to start posting. Posting to Instagram. Posting to Instagram is easy. Knowing what to post, how often and at what time can be a bit more challenging. How often to post? It's no secret that running a business is time consuming. How much of that time do you have to dedicate to social media? And how much time do you have to generate high quality images and content? Your answers will affect how often you post. It doesn't matter if it can't be snapping and sharing all day every day. The key is doing so consistently. Becoming a familiar face on the platform increases your chance of engagement and improves the likelihood of Instagram showing your posts frequently too. What to post? There are plenty of ways you can showcase your products and services on your Instagram page. How about meet the team posts, a look behind the scenes, customer reviews, your products in action, exciting news, giveaways and promotions, tutorials. The possibilities are endless if you're willing to get creative. And how about hashtags? Good point. Hashtags are widely used on social media sites so that posts can be discovered, not just by your followers, but by anyone searching for that phrase. If you're a personal trainer, for example, you can extend your reach, attract followers, and get more likes on your posts by using popular fitness hashtags like hashtag fitness, hashtag fitness motivation, and hashtag workout motivation. Always make sure the hashtags you use are relevant. Popular hashtags may seem tempting, but if they have nothing to do with your business, they're not going to help you attract the right audience. It's also smart to come up with your own hashtag. You can use this whenever you post something and encourage your followers to use it if they're posting about you as well. This helps you to find out what fans are saying about you and it also means people can find you if they search for your brand. When to post. It's all well and good sharing interesting searchable stuff, but what good is it if no one's around to see it, like it, comment on it or share it? You can gauge the best times to post by looking at your insights. Simply click where it says how many profile visits you've had in the last seven days and then select the audience tab. If you scroll to the bottom, it will tell you the times your followers are most active for each day of the week. Magic. And there's another little trick that works like magic too. Posting stories. Instagram stories. Stories are photos and videos you can post that disappear after 24 hours, unless of course you add them to your highlights. Rather than seeing them on your newsfeed, followers can view them by clicking on a pink circle around your profile photo. Each story has a 15 second time limit, but that's okay. If you want to upload something longer, Instagram will automatically split it into segments before you post. To make your story as engaging as possible, you could add hashtags to make it searchable, tag your location so people in the local area can find you, add interactive comments using the poll and ask me a question features, 
share other people's content. They might even return the favor. Tag any people or companies you mention in your story so they can see it. If you have an influencer associated with your brand, you could also mention them in your story or even ask them to take it over for a day. Wait, hold up. Influencers? If you know about influencers, you can skip this bit. If you don't, you'll want to listen to this next bit. Influencers are Instagram users who have built a large following and a loyal fan base. They can be anyone from pop stars, socialites, actors and actresses, reality TV stars and athletes, to industry experts, travelers, beauty gurus, adventure photographers, food bloggers, life hackers, and fitness and fashion influencers. They're an attractive prospect to brands because they hold a huge amount of, well, influence over their large following. Brands can pay an influencer to mention their product with money or with freebies. They might post a review, recommendation, or just give a shout out to the company. Whatever they do, they'll need to mention it's an ad. Influencers don't have to be celebrities with massive following. Anyone who is well respected in their field and relevant to your industry is likely to be a good option. Now back to those Instagram stories. Another option for you is going live in your story. Going live. Going live allows you to engage with your followers in real time. People can watch your live stream and leave comments or ask you questions. You can save a replay of your live recording to your stories and it will stay there for 24 hours so anyone who couldn't catch you at the time can watch it later. You might want to go live for product demos or tutorials, launch announcements, Q&A sessions. But before you press that button, here are some tips for you. Decide on your subject before you go live. Ask followers to submit questions beforehand. Encourage people to comment. Find a quiet place without noise or distraction. Let your followers know when you'll be going live. Have a set time and day you go live so your followers know when to expect it. Make a note of the subject you covered and how many views, likes and comments you've received so you can measure what's working and what isn't. We're sure you're dying to give it a go. So go ahead, sign up now and start making Instagram work for you. You can also find plenty more tips on Instagram and social media marketing on theukdomain.uk.